Now let's create a new section for featured categories. So these featured categories will display the various categories we have on our e-commerce website. So to do that, I click on the class icon here, add new section, and I choose single column. I go to elements and I search for heading. Then I choose premium dual heading. I drag it in here and drop. So this will come in two different colors. So the first heading, I enter featured. And then the second heading, instead of add-ons, I make it categories. I go to style for first heading. I change the typography to poppins and then the size. I click on the pencil icon here. Then I will make it 25. Okay, let me make it 30. Okay, I think 35 is cool. Then under transform, I change it to uppercase. And the text color, I click on color here and I'll enter FFA 500. So that is the color I'm going to use. And since I'll be using this color, I'll also save it as I did for my font earlier. So I'll just call it orange. Now going down, second heading, click on it. In the typography, I make it poppins. The size, I make it 35 as well. And then transform uppercase. And the text color, I make it black. I can also go ahead and add the black color to my colors. Okay, now I go back to elements, then I drag in the divider and the width, I will make it 20, I will center it, then I increase the size of it by going to style, weight, let me make it 3, now I reduce the gap to 2, that is the lowest, I guess. And the color, I change it to orange. Next, I insert an inner section by going to elements. I drag it in here under the divider. And I need it to be in four columns, but I have to. So I'll right click here, duplicate, right click and duplicate. Next, I go to elements again, then I search for banner and I'll get this widget right here. I click and drag it in here. So this is how it will look like. Then I'll go ahead and insert the image I want to put there. I click, just go ahead and choose this. Insert media. Awesome. And I can change the effects from here. Currently, it is using effects one. Let's see two. You see that three. Awesome. I think this one is kind of cool. But I'll go with effect one. Perfect. I'll go to content. I'll change the title from premium banner to suits. And then the description, I will say quality shoes for men. Awesome. Then I go to style, I go down to title, and then the color, I will make it my orange color, and then typography, I make it poppins, and the size. I will make it 30. Okay. Now let's go down to description. Now the color. I will use the primary color. Okay. And typography. 
I'll make it poppins perfect then finally I go to container and I'll add a shadow effect by clicking on the pencil icon here and a shadow is added perfect now I can copy this and paste right there so that I can change the images and the categories so in here I change the image to watches and the content from suits to watches and the description I will say quality watches as simple as that for men awesome now let me link them up to their respective categories so i start from here suits by clicking on it so i'll toggle on link right here now existing page will only take me to the respective pages i want but here is the case i want to use category so i toggle on custom link then i'll just go ahead and copy and paste my category links so let me go back to the dashboard of my website i go to products and then categories so the link for seals i'll right click on view copy link go back to elementor paste I do the same thing for watches toggle it on and toggle custom on and I go back to shoes right click on view copy link go back to elementor paste sorry I think this is for watches so I'll just go ahead and work on shoes paste go back to watches right click copy paste i'll do the rest pretty quick all right now i want to change the arrangement of my categories by bringing shoes in here then I'll take watches over there. Awesome. Next, I want to create spacing in between the hero section and the featured categories. You see that? You see that the featured categories is kind of touching the hero section. So I click on edit section right here. Then I go to advanced and the pattern. I uncheck the values and then top. I make it 50 bottom. 50 awesome then i click on update so that's how we add featured categories on our home page